Transit and cruising, of course, was not a good combination at the beginning of the pandemic. Then ships began sailing again, only to have Omicron hit. The question tonight, is it safe to sail? WREL investigates Cullen Browder takes us on board. Planning a cruise right now can be downright confusing. Last month, the government said don't go on a cruise, then clarified that that was voluntary, not mandatory health guidance. So what should you expect? Here's a firsthand account from our colleague. With COVID raging, cruise ships are docking. Several major cruise lines are canceling trips because of Omicron spread. They told us crew members got sick with COVID and they were turning around and coming back. The cancellations came less than a week after the Centers for Disease Control said no one should cruise, regardless of vaccination status. The CDC uses a color-coded chart to track ships with known COVID cases. Cruise lines that choose to stop following CDC guidance will be shown in gray going forward. Still, the industry claims it's safe. Well, the CDC's uh, travel advisory does not prohibit cruising. Cruise ships are operating. People are still free to take cruises. And I would tell people to take a hard look at all of the protocols that are in place. WREL Investigates producer Randall Kerr was on a Norwegian cruise ship when the CDC's recommendation came down. Certainly made me feel a little more uneasy. That's despite some steps to try and control Omicron. Pre-board testing of everybody, hand sanitizer everywhere. Every time you walked into a room, they were hand sanitizing you, telling you to wash your hands. Staff was always fully masked. He found there were some pre-boarding head scratchers. People that had check-in times that they were still waiting for their test results, they were allowed to board the ship before the results came in. All these people, some masks, some not masks. One of the biggest concerns, the use of tenders or water taxis to get to land. Despite stickers on seats promoting social distancing, the ship packed the boats, making people sit shoulder to shoulder, even waiting 50 to 20 minutes on board until it was completely full, despite the availability of other boats. And there were also expected trouble spots. I mean, any bar situation, nightclubs, um, not a lot of people wearing masks and not a lot of enforcement. There certainly, there weren't people walking around reminding you to put your mask on. Back in. And off the ship, the crowded sardine can feeling repeated itself in the customs area. When he voiced his concerns to Norwegian, especially about the taxi boats, he got only this generic statement that read, quote, as a result of our comprehensive health and safety protocols, we believe that vacationing on board any one of our 28 cruise ships is safer and guests are better protected from contracting COVID-19 than any other general population setting. When we asked for data on COVID cases to compare to the general population, though, Norwegian declined. For now, some cruise lines are pausing. Ahoy there, sailors. But professional cruise reviewer Billy Hirsch says that won't stop him from sailing with people he feels are more protected than people on land. All cruise lines that are operating right now require at least 95% of all persons on board are vaccinated. All crew must be vaccinated. Our producer just wished the cruise line tweaked their safety protocols. Some of the fixes they could make are very simple that wouldn't disrupt the fun of the cruise or the enjoyment of it. So why not do it? Four out of five of Randall's family members tested positive for COVID within one week of that trip. They're all vaccinated and fortunately, no one has serious symptoms. Cullen Browder, WREL News. Well, the CDC's chart hasn't updated since this weekend, so tonight it remains unclear how many cruise lines will opt in to the guidelines.